Hello everybody, back with Jeremy once again. Um, so today there's something that I had a very tough time with for a very, very long time. Um, today we're going to talk about holding anger. I was a very angry person. I held grudges very heavily, um, held on to them for a very long time. This is something that I've only recently in the last year or two or maybe three have actually been able to say that I pretty good of letting stuff go now. Um, anger doesn't hurt anybody except for you. Anger doesn't bother anybody except for you. And I would spend a lot of time worrying and contemplating about what somebody's done to me or what I felt that they've come against me doing. Um, whether it was malicious intent or not, I would still, I would harbor this resentment for a very long time. And it doesn't do anything for you. It holds you back. It hurts you. So today we're going to talk about letting go of anger and what you can do and some of the suggestions I have for you to actually let go of anger. Now, I've discussed before that I enjoy going to the gym. I enjoy working out. And... While I still have a tough time with me holding anger and holding on to anger and stuff, I found that when I'm able to go and use that anger in a workout, um, let's just say Joe, I don't know who Joe is, but let's just say Joe had... I don't even know, um, he accidentally stepped on my flowers, or whatever. I don't have flowers, but whatever. And, it, let's say he didn't even mean to, well, I would hold that, and I would use that. That's a horrible example. I'm sorry, that's a horrible example. Um, let's just say some guy cut me off in traffic, right? Whether he meant to, didn't, didn't matter. I would be upset, I'd have road rage, I would be angry, and what I found that instead of holding on to that anger and being angry, I actually take that, I put it in a little bank in my head, and it sits there. And then when I decide that it's a good day to have a hard workout, I kind of bring those memories back up, and I use that to fuel my workouts. And I can, I'll, I'll be honest with you, they help. I mean, the difference between that and just a normal workout going in there and just trying to get you know a workout in, my heavy workouts, when I use those things that have upset me or whatever, they're way more intense. Now, I'm not saying that's the only way to go about it. I know that a lot of people that ride motorcycles, they take that anger and they go ride a motorcycle and it's just gone. It just leaves. Um, maybe you like to hike or fish or whatever. And just that, being able to do that clears you completely, clears your head completely. That's what you need to do because that anger doesn't affect anybody else. It, do, it doesn't, it's not hurting the person that made you angry. And a lot of times they don't even know that they made you angry. So there's, there's no point in holding on to this anger. And all it does is hold you back and weigh you down. And, you know, we've talked about a lot of things. And with those things, anger doesn't get you anywhere with any of them. We talked last time about meditation. If you're angry, you can't meditate. You can't remove everything from your head if you are angry about anything. So I need you to drop the anger. It doesn't do anything for you. All it does is hurt you, but it doesn't even affect anybody else. So take this anger and do whatever you got to do with it. If you want to take it and you want to use it at the gym or maybe you're a um, fighter or whatever and you like to fight, use it in that. Use it at the gym, you know, use it to throw gravel around, whatever. Go for a hike, release this anger from you. And what you'll find is that you'll actually have better relationships when you don't hold on to anger. When you don't, every time you see somebody, you don't think, well, they did this to me. Drop that. Drop it. Make, make yourself a better person. You know, that, like we talked about, that meditation and stuff... It's only going to help you. It's only going to make you move forward. And the anger does the exact opposite of that. So drop the anger. 
forget about it. You know, whatever you got to do. Like I said, I'm not a person that can get upset by something and then just say, oh, it's gone. I've got to do something about it. And so I use mine at the gym. It works out very well for me. And to be honest with you, the other person that I was angry at, they probably have no idea that I was angry, which is exactly what I want. I don't want people to know me as an angry person because I'm not. I'm really not an angry person. I'm a very happy person. I get, you know, I get along well with most people and that's what I want to be known for. Not being angry, not being upset, not being a hothead. So take the anger, drop it. Whatever you got to do, get rid of it. So it's a short video, but it's just, it's an easy topic. Just figure out a way to get rid of the anger. There's no point. It doesn't hurt anybody except for you. So thank you guys very much. Um, I appreciate your time. I appreciate your comments as always. Um, let me know what you want to hear about. Um, I've got quite a few topics here still in my book, but I'm always interested to hear what you guys want to hear about. Um, if you'd like me to do a longer video discussing a lot more stuff, um, I've done sales quite a bit. I can help out with that. Let me know what you want to hear from me about. Um, once again, I love you guys very much. If there's anything I can do for you, please let me know. You guys have a great day.